Now, hey, everyone, welcome back to Ela Lessons Online. Okay, we're back with uh the with math again. Okay, H two math. Uh, back to cover the twenty seventeen paper one. Now we're gonna move on to question three. Okay, so if you have not already seen question one and two, okay, it is basically on Maclaurin series as well as inequalities. Okay, so if you want to, okay, make sure you go and check it out first. Uh, and then do try this paper out first. Okay, use these videos as kind of like your explanation um for for your solutions instead. Okay, moving on to question three. Uh, it's actually a very 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 simple question. Okay, we're looking at differentiation. Um, I think it is a topic that a lot of students actually enjoy to do. Okay, so um, this question does not require you to use a calculator um, because it is so simple, right? That's why you don't even need a calculator to begin with. Okay, but I'm just going to go through this question as well um, for those of you who may still be a little bit unsure on what differentiation is. Okay, so a curve C has equation y squared minus 2xy plus 5x squared minus 10 equals to 0. So the first part asks you to find the exact x coordinates of the stationary points of C. So right off the bat, um, you should already know that whenever they ask you to find stationary points, this means that dy over dx will have to be equals to zero. So this is something that you can just start writing out first on your question, okay, so that you can remember. When they say exact, okay, it means that there cannot be decimal places. Okay, it has to either be a fraction, um, or it has to be a whole number, okay? Second part asks you to find, okay, for the stationary point with x more than 0, okay, this means that yes, there will indeed be two, th two stationary points. Um, so use the one that is the positive value. Determine whether it is a maximum or a minimum. Okay, so we'll explore on how we're going to do this later on. Okay, so for the first part, um, what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to basically um, use implicit differentiation for this question. Okay, the reason why, okay, is because you have got things like x, y, okay, it is together. So you cannot just do a very simple dy, dx, okay, you have to use implicit dif differentiation. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the whole um, equation over here. So I've got y squared minus 2xy plus 5x squared minus 10 equals to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an implicit differentiation. So first, you differentiate the y, uh, the y squared. So you will have 2y. And then because you differentiate the y, so that you will have to have a dy, d dx. Okay, if you want to, you can always write before this, okay, differentiate with respect to x. Okay, you're always differentiating with respect to x, not with respect to y. Okay, so that's why you have a dy dx here. And then um, break this up into two parts. Okay, so you'll first have minus 2x. You differentiate the y first. You will get dy dx. And then after that, you just need to simply differentiate the x. You will get 1. When you differentiate x with respect to x, you get 1. So that's why you're just left with minus 2y. And then differentiate the 5x squared. You will just need to bring the 2 down. You get 10x. Then the minus 10 becomes nothing. You get this equals to 0. Okay, what you can do now is you can then um, start to actually combine things really. Okay, but before that, you notice that there's a common factor, which is 2. So let's just get rid of that. You will have y dy dx minus x dy dx minus y plus 5x equals to 0. Okay, then now all you need to do is just bring all the dy dx to one side. I'll be left with dy dx here equals to far, uh, sorry, bring the y over, you get y minus 5x. Take out the y minus x, it'll be over y minus x. Very, very simple so far, right? Okay, so after this, what we're going to do is then we are going to um, assume, okay, I'm not say assume, okay, in fact, it is a fact, okay, because they ask you to find the coordinates of the stationary points. So since they're stationary points, we're going to say, um, that let dy dx equals to 0. So you will have y minus 5x over y minus x equals to 0. Okay, the reason being is that I said because they are stationary points. So y minus 5x y over y minus x will now be equivalent to 0. So what you do is you bring, all, bring one of them over to the other side. You get y minus 5x equals to 0. Okay, the bottom part becomes nothing, okay, because when you multiply the whole thing by my y minus x, the opposite side is 0 times y minus x will still be 0. So all you get is y minus 5x equals to 0, therefore y equals to 5x. So this is the first part, okay, but what, what did the question ask? Okay, the question asks to find the exact x coordinates of the stationary points of C. So they're asking you to find the x 
Okay, they're asking you to find the x coordinates. So very simple. Now that you have got y equals to 5x, this is essentially your equation 1. And your original equation becomes equation 2. So you just need to do simultaneous equations. Okay, because this y equals to 5x means that um, the value of y, uh, I mean the value, in order to find your x coordinate, the value of y, we just need to take 5 times that. Okay, so it means that essentially this is your y coordinate and x coordinate in, in of the stationary point. So in order to find exactly what the value is, since they're asking you to find the x coordinate, you just need to sub, sub out all the y values of your original curve C. Okay, and then you should be able to find the x value. Okay, I'll show you what I mean, okay? So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to sub it into the other equation, the original equation, the curve C equation. So what you get is you get 5x squared. So you just you can just write sub one into two. So five x squared minus two x times five x plus five x squared minus ten will be equivalent to zero now. So you just need to expand everything, you'll get twenty five x squared minus ten x squared plus five x squared minus ten equals to zero. So you combine all the x squares together, you have twenty x squared equals to 10. Okay, I bring the 10 over. So you get x squared equals to half. Therefore, x equals to negative 1 over root 2. Okay, remember whenever you square root um, x, okay, there is always a positive and negative. Okay, because you, you square any number, be it negative or positive, you still get a positive number. Okay, or x equals to 1 over Root two. Okay, so now that you've got two values, you need to decide, okay, which one are you going to reject? Okay, this is for part two. Eh? So part one, we've already answered the question. Find the exact x coordinates of the stationary points of C. These are your answers. X equals to negative one minus one over root two, and x equals to one over root two. Okay, so now I look at sec the second part. Okay, the second part asks, okay, for the stationary point with x more than zero, determine whether it is a maximum or minimum. Okay, whenever you look at maximum and minimum, okay, you're gonna look at um d two y dx square. Okay, it's always the same thing. Okay, unless you wanna do your graphing method, which is not very ideal in this case, okay, because you have done implicit. So what you're gonna do is just gonna differentiate one more time using implicit differentiation. Okay, and then you're gonna find. Okay, you're gonna isolate d two y over dx square, and then you're going to find um, whether that value is a positive or a negative. Okay, so a negative value of d2y dx squared for refresher, a negative value would mean that it is a maximum point. Okay, if it is a positive value, it means that it is a minimum point. Okay, so that's just the rules of d2y dx squared you need to learn, okay? So let's do part two. So they say using the one where it is more than zero. So you for part two, you say using um, x equals to 1 over root 2, comma. Okay, you're going to find what your d2y dx squared is. Okay, so one way you can do it, okay, since you already have dy dx equals to y minus 5x over y minus x, okay, um, what you can do is you just need to do your um, put your, your, your product differentiation. Okay, so use your u and your um, v values to go and do your differentiation. So I'll get d 2y over dx square equals to bottom up first. So y minus x, then you differentiate the top. dy dx minus 5. Then after that, the other way around, the top first, minus y minus 5x. Differentiate the bottom. And then this whole thing will be over the bottom, which is your u square. So y minus x whole thing square so this is a formula that you guys must learn okay make sure you remember so using x equals to 1 over root 2 i'm just going to sub it in um okay but before that right um before you actually sub so before you actually sub in x equals to 1 over root 2 you want to find something first right because you want to get a a, a a whole whole number for d2 i dx square so what you're going to do is when x equals to 1 over root 2 you need to find what your y value is so y will equals to 5 times 1 over root 2 equals to 5 over root 2. Okay, the reason how I got this okay, is because just now we found that y equals to 5x over here. Okay, so since y equals to 5x, it means that since your x value is equals to 1 over root 2, you just need to sub that value in. Then you'll be able to get your y value. Okay, so this is the y value of your stationary point. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to sub the x and y value into the whole equation. So I have over here 
d2y over dx square equals to 5 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 times 0 minus 5. Okay, the reason why it's 0 is because this is a stationary point. So dy dx equals to 0. Then this power will be minus 5 over root 2 minus 5 times 1 over root 2. And then dy dx equals to 0 minus 1. And then this whole thing will be over 5 over root 2 minus your 1 over root 2 whole thing squared. So very simple over here, just press into your calculator, your GC or your scientific calculator, and you'll be able to get the answer, which is minus 1.7678, roughly around there. Okay, this is an estimate. Okay, so this value you notice is actually less than zero. So because, like I said just now, since um, d2y dx squared that is a negative, that is less than zero, is always a maximum point, you're going to conclude that hence, when x equals to negative sorry not negative huh? when x equals to 1 over root 2 comma it is a maximum stationary point okay and that will be your answer completed okay so very simple huh? so this question what they actually want you to just look out for okay is to go and find out okay whether you can actually do your d2y dx square properly so that's why they combine um things that like your product differentiation they combine um implicit differentiation all into one question so if you can work this out and you get this answer okay very good this question is just a free six marks um in the back for you okay so that is actually all i have okay if you do not really understand okay leave a question in my comment section below i will answer you as well okay um if not that's actually all i have okay uh if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a like okay, it does help me a lot as well as to subscribe to the channel um the next question question four will be out very very soon okay so if not today i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye